Hello, what is up guys? Evil Do Asylum here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at upgrading your Naru, as well as Tuvala gear, specifically targeted towards a newer player who's trying to progress their season character. Now, I do already have a guide on this on my channel, but it's almost two years old at this point, so it's long overdue for an upgrade, and honestly, a lot of things have changed since this video came out. So hopefully this updated version of the guide is going to make your life a lot easier, especially as a newer player. Quickly though, before we get into it, if you are new to my channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on my channel already and you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel. I've got tons of guides on Black Desert. I would really appreciate the support. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start off with Naru gear because that's where you're going to be starting. So when you get started in Black Desert, regardless of which story start you choose, you're going to get a ton of different items thrown at you. Specifically for this video, we are interested in any of the gear pieces that call themselves Naru. So there's Naru armor, gloves, helmet, accessories, all sorts of different Naru items. We're looking for those, which are going to be these blue armor pieces, beginner black stones of armor, and beginner black stones of weapon. The goal here with this Naru gear set is to upgrade it using these two items right here, the beginner black stones, upgrade the Naru gear, up until the pen stage of the gear that you can see me hovering right now. Enhancing Naru gear is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. All you need to do is take the gear off of your character, press the comma key on the keyboard to bring up the black spirit, I don't know the command on console, head over to the enhancement tab at the bottom center, select the armor piece from within your inventory that you're trying to upgrade, in this case I'm going to upgrade the Naru armor, and then begin to hit the enhance button and hit skip animation as well because you're going to be doing a lot of clicking here. The first five upgrades for armor are guaranteed. After that it's going to drop down into the 70s for a percent chance and you can just keep spamming away at it here and you can see it's still sitting in the 70s of the percent chance, but if you fail, nothing bad actually happens all the way up until you get to this little Roman numeral one. So this is Pry. Um, this is the first stage of upgrades where you're gonna start having some difficulties now. Naru armor itself isn't that difficult in this stage. You can pretty much just continue to spam it. The story is gonna give you thousands of black stones of armor and weapon to upgrade these different gear pieces. So you really don't have to worry about anything creative. So you're basically just gonna continue to click the enhance button on these and you can see I'm going all the way up. Okay, so there, I gotta fail. That's what I wanted to get. So once you upgrade one time past Pry up to Duo, anytime you fail, your gear is gonna drop down a level and you're gonna get a thing called a fail stack. So every time you fail, additional chances get added to your fail stack, which increases your overall percentage of an upgrade. So I just failed the try to Tet upgrade, the Roman numeral three to Roman numeral four upgrade, and it dropped back down to the Duo, the Roman numeral two, but I got an increased enhancement chance. So my enhancement chance is now up and I have a 15% chance to go back up to try. So I can hit enhance again, and you see it succeeds. Now I'm at a 50% chance. If I hit enhance, I succeeded at that time. If I hit enhance one more time, I actually got the pen on the 50-50 there. But that's basically it for this. You're gonna continue to spam these all the way up until they get to pen. It is gonna fail sometimes, but you can see going all the way to pen there took me like 200 stones. Now if this is your first time ever like seriously playing Black Desert and trying to progress your gear and upgrades and whatnot, you're gonna wanna make two sets of this. And I'll explain why in a little bit. It has nothing to do with the season server, but it's a huge quality of life thing, and I want to make sure to put it in this video. To get a second set of armor to upgrade, you need to find the NPC Fugar, who's located in pretty much every city in the game. If you can't find him, you can use the Find NPC function in the top corner of the screen and type in Fugar. We're going to be coming back to this guy later, so, you know, you might as well learn where he is. But the Fugar here in this city is right here. If I go to the Exchange tab, I can exchange those time-filled stones for different armor, accessories, and weapon boxes for your character. So if I was going to make a second set of gear, I would go to the exchange tab, and now I would pick up a helmet for one black stone, I would pick up some gloves, and I'd pick up some shoes. I'd also pick up the weapon boxes. Now you saw accessories in that menu there, and I haven't talked about those yet, and the reason is, is because they're a scam. I think they're new player traps entirely. Now yeah, they're gonna provide you some nice bonuses while you're leveling, so if you wanna try and like upgrade a few of these yourself, go for it. But these are gonna be outclassed like immediately on the season server, and if you play through the main story on a non-seasonal character, you're gonna get better upgrades for these instead. If for some reason you do wanna upgrade these though, and waste your time, because it is a waste of time, you'll need to find the NPC Fugar, click on the exchange tab again, and pick up some accessories. I guess I'll just do the rings in this case. You'll need to buy a bunch of these, so like just click like, I don't know, seven times, 10 times, doesn't really matter. You need a crap load of them. After you have all those in your inventory, press the comma key on the keyboard to bring up the Black Spirit, click on the Enhancement tab, and select a ring. If you've never upgraded accessories in Black Desert, if they fail, they break, which means you don't get to keep the gear. So unlike upgrading your armor pieces or weapons where it just downgrades a level, 
these just entirely shatter. So if I hit the enhancement button on these, it failed. So I lost everything I just used. So I used three rings total. They're just gone into the ether. So let's try again. Nope, failed, lost both of those. All right, we got one, got two, failed, lost it all. And that's why these are a scam. They don't provide you really good bonuses and you're gonna get better stuff just for playing here in a few minutes. Now, if you wanna try and like upgrade it one or two times just to have a little bonus, maybe go for it. You do get a ton of the black stones, but again, you're not gonna use these after a few minutes. I think I've hammered that point home hard enough here. But anyway, continue this Naru gear upgrading until you get a full set of pen Naru gear, which includes your helmet, your boots, your gloves, your armor, your main weapon, and your sub weapon. So six pieces in total that you wanna upgrade all the way to the pen stage. So now once you have that full set of Naru gear up to that pen stage, you'll see an icon popped up over in the top left corner of your screen. You also saw the same icon when I was upgrading. But if you click that, it'll allow you to convert your pen Naru gear to Tuvula gear. This is a major change from my other video. All you do is take off the piece of gear, click it, and it enters it into this menu here. You then click the convert button and hit yes. Only do this for one set of gear because you're only gonna get to keep one set of gear for the end of the season server. So don't try and make like six sets of Tuvula gear thinking you'll be able to keep it. You only get to keep one set. But again, run it down the line and upgrade all of these pieces that you have equipped to this tubula gear. And once you finish those upgrades, you can press the escape key on the keyboard to close that menu and put the gear on that you just created. It's gonna look the same, but it has significantly better stats. You can see my stats are pretty much approved across the board. So now we have our tubula gear set and we can start looking at upgrading that. Again, hold on to any leftover pen Naru pieces that you have, as well as hold on to these beginner black stones. Now upgrading the tubula gear is gonna be similar to the Naru gear in the sense that you're gonna use the same menus, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, because instead of just playing through the story to get the different upgrade materials that we need, we're going to have to go out and grind and kill specific mobs to get the things that we need, do specific side quests and whatnot to be able to pick up these upgrade materials. The percent chances for the upgrades are a lot lower than the 70% that we're just stuck at. So you might get frustrated throughout your upgrading journey, but I urge you to just be patient and be calm since there's a guaranteed path for upgrading your gear outside of the season server. So this is it. This is your last time you're going to have to suffer with this. Every other time, you're just going to subject it yourself to it willingly. Unless you want to be in like the top 1% of players in the world, then you'll have to deal with it. But for like the 99% people and the people that watch my videos, this is the last time you have to suffer. But to actually get started with Naru upgrades, the first two are the easiest upgrades you're ever going to get in your life. Once you reach level 60, you are going to open up the challenges menu on the keyboard, which is the Y key. Scroll down the list, and for hitting level 60, you're going to get a Pentuvula earring. You can claim that. And for level 59, you get a Pentuvula ring. So you can claim that. And those two accessories are going to immediately outclass pretty much the entirety of your Naru set. So you can see your two Naru earrings give you five if you upgrade them to the max. The Tuvula earring that the game provides you is 13, so it's already three better than both of them just on its own. With the ring, the two of them give you six for a total of 12. The ring that the thing gives you is a 14 bonus. So again, that ring just outclasses both of those accessories as well. So now you see why I said those are a waste of time to upgrade. Now, if you're not level 60 yet, that Evil Do Us Harm guy has a leveling guide series that takes you all the way from level one to 61 in like 11 hours. I just did it on stream this weekend. So you should totally check him out and it's linked in the description below. But once we have those two easy Tuvula upgrades out of the way, it's time to get a little bit more serious and you're gonna need to start farming up some materials. Again, I have a video on this, and it's a, an eight minute long video, which would be too much just to ram into this video, but basically it boils down to a bunch of different quests, challenges, and things that you can enter into the game to be able to receive a bunch of these different upgrade materials. The upgrade materials in question are Tuvula Ore, Time-Filled Blackstones, and Refined Magical Blackstones. These three upgrade items are what you're gonna use to upgrade the rest of your Tuvula gear. And they can be obtained from killing mobs, side quests, entering codes that they put out on the website occasionally, all sorts of different ways to get these things. That video that's linked in the description below goes through all those different ways. So I'm gonna do a couple of those easy ones like filling out the Black Spirits Pass or looking in my challenges menu for anything that I have so that I can continue with this video. So give me a second. The first upgrade that I'm gonna recommend you make is going to be upgrading your Tuvula main weapon. Obviously this only applies to the season server that we're currently on because that will allow you to complete these next two challenges which gives you a Frozen Tides Blackstone. This Frozen Tides Blackstone is a guaranteed upgrade from Tet to Pen for one piece of Tubula gear, which saves you a lot of troubles. So upgrade your main weapon first when you go to do this. And getting started with upgrades is pretty simple on the Tubula gear, so start by unequipping your weapon, pressing the comma key on the keyboard, and pressing the enhancement tab. The enhancement tab, just like before, we're gonna pick the Tuvula piece of gear, and you can see that instead of the 65% chance that Naru had, 
this has a 30% chance for success. So you can see where this difficulty is going to begin. Now again, just like Naru Gear, the prize stage cannot downgrade. The downgrades only start from duo and on. So this first upgrade, if you do just want to smash it and hope that 30% goes through, you can. And that's what I'm going to do for this first upgrade. And I got lucky. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But now that we have this weapon to duo, I'm actually going to equip it, which is going to complete this challenge, which will allow me to get this Kiddix Crystal, as well as the guaranteed upgrade stone. And I guess I'll keep running it down the line with stuff that's going to auto-complete from challenges. Sick, more upgrade materials. But again, this Frozen Tides Blackstone will come back to later for the guaranteed upgrade. So now that we have one piece up to duo, now we need to try and get all of our pieces up to duo. So I'm going to start by unequipping all of the tubular gear, which again is going to be the helmet, the chest piece, the gloves, the shoes, the main weapon, and the sub weapon, and the awakening weapon, which you should have gotten from your awakening quest line. It just gives you a pry tubular weapon now. So then we'll press the comma key to open up the Black Spirit, head on over to the enhancement tab, and select the first piece. I guess we'll start with the helmet. 26% chance for success this time. Again, you can just smash this, or we can do something creative with all of that leftover Naru gear. So remember I told you to save all those beginner Blackstones? If you take one of the pieces of Naru gear that we haven't upgraded already, uh, we see that it's 100% success, so we can smash it through this first 100% success period, but then it starts to getting to the point where it can fail. And if you remember what we were talking about with fail stacks, whenever something fails, you get a stack. So hopefully something fails and I just don't go straight through because that'd be disappointing. Come on, there we go, something failed. So I got three additional enhancement stack for an additional plus six. I can press my luck or I can take that plus six and try and use it on the helmet here. So you can see now the helmet's at a 32% chance instead of the 26% chance it just was. I'm gonna press my luck and go a little bit further. Unfortunately, it succeeded. There we go, we failed. We got a plus four from that one. Take the helmet, now it's at 34% chance on this helmet. So you can see I'm using the Naru gear and hoping to fail the Naru gear so that I can upgrade the um, tubular gear. So 34% chance is good enough for me to give it a try. We're going to give it an enhanced attempt. Failed. We'll give it another go. Got the success that time. I'm going to take off the tubula helmet and try the tubula armor. Again, back to 26%. So we'll take that narrow piece of gear I was working on, enhance it, hope for a fail in here somewhere. Unlucky that we got an upgrade, but that's okay. We have more Naru gear to try this with. So we'll move on to the shoes. Because again, I said if you're a newer player, you'll want to make a second set of this anyway. Um, we'll try and see if we can't get some fails in here. So there's another plus four stack. We'll use that on the chest piece. So I failed a bunch of times in a row here. And actually, now that I'm above 58%, I want to stop here, right? I've got a pretty large stack here of plus 19. I can take that chest piece off and put the helmet back on. And you can see that plus 19 that is now applied to the helmet instead. So I'm going to try my luck at a 43% chance at upgrading this helmet instead of wasting that plus 19 on the chest piece that's at 58% that cannot downgrade. We'll try it on the helmet and take a 40% chance that the helmet will go up. So we'll hit the enhance button on that, and it does. So we can take the helmet back off, take the Naru gear back on, and try and continue to upgrade this and hope for fails again. All right, we got a nice fail right there. We'll take the Naru gear off, put the chest piece back on that we were trying to upgrade, and try again. And there we got that one to duo. So now we can move on to the gloves. Again, 26% chance. So we'll try upgrading these shoes again. We got a fail. Put the gloves back on, try that 30% chance, success. Take the shoes from the Naru side, put those back on, go for the enhance. Unfortunately succeeded, but we can put the next piece of Naru gear on. Try and enhance this piece. Got a fail off of it, so we'll move on to the next piece. Take these shoes, succeeded. Put back on the Naru piece, hope for a fail. We got the fail, we'll put on the sub weapon next. 36% chance, it failed, failed again. Failed again, I'm gonna take that 17 with me and we're gonna try and upgrade one of these duo pieces here. So 40% chance on these shoes, succeeded. Take the shoes off, put that narrow piece of gear back on, enhance, enhance, failed again. So now we have a fail stack here. We're gonna put the kunai back on and try and see if we can't get this kunai to go up. Failed again, failed again, succeeded on the third try. We'll put the Naru gloves on again using the black stone, beginner black stones here. And we failed, so we got another nice fail stack. Move on to our awakening weapon, and we'll try and enhance this one. Succeeded after two attempts. So now we have all of our gear up to duo, and we actually got two pieces to try during that. So anytime my fail stack went up to like 17, 18, I stopped trying to upgrade from the pride to duo and gave it a shot at the duo to try. You can find your own number that you like, right? 
Like if 40% is not a good enough number for you, you can make that jump to say waiting until it would be 50% before you'd go for it. It's up to you. 40% is a safe number for me. Now we need to work on getting all of these pieces up to try, which the Naro gear really isn't going to help us do unless one of these fail from duo back to pry. Then we can start the same system over where we do fail stacks on this Naro gear, fail enough times so that we get a stack big enough to take the Tuvala armor up to the duo stage, and then we can continue again. Now, if this is too much button clicking and numbers for you to remember, you can actually do guaranteed upgrades all the way up to the try stage using this black stone right here. So if I pick a duo armor piece here, I can, instead of using time-filled blackstones, use a refined magical blackstone. This gives you a guaranteed upgrade, but it costs you a guaranteed amount of durability. So if you upgrade with the time-filled blackstones, if you succeed, you use up no durability, and if you fail on this upgrade in particular, I'd lose 10 durability. So I can skip that fail percent chance and just get the guaranteed upgrade for that piece by using these stones and saying, here, just take off 20 and get the guaranteed upgrade. This only works up to the try stage, and again, it's up to you if you would like to use it. All right, so now let's actually take a look at upgrading this gear from Duo to Try. There's a few different options. Again, you can just try and smash it and hope that it goes through. That's option number one. And it's really not a terrible idea because again, the season server provides you a ton of different stuff. As we already pointed out, you can use the guaranteed upgrade with the refined magical black stones. Option number three is to continue with the Naru method where you go for an intentional fail on some Naru gear and hope that that fail goes through and you get a fail stack that you can then apply to this piece of gear. So you see I got an extra 10% upgrade chance out of it by doing that. You can do something called rouletting where basically you try this upgrade right here, right? And if it fails, I say, okay, screw that. And I go on to the next piece of duo gear and it now has a higher chance and I go for it and it succeeds. Then you start back at square one again, trying to upgrade the narrow gear, hoping for a fail, then going back into the Tuvala armor here and trying to get it to succeed. Then again, go back to the Naru gear, try and enhance it, get the fail, try and get the upgrade on the duo piece here. Or we can start doing the big boy fail stacking, which involves using a piece of armor. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this is the best way because I'm gonna be honest, it probably isn't. But ultimately, when you upgrade a piece of gear that you can buy off of the central market, in this case, Rokaba armor, up to a certain stage, you're gonna get some options for enhancement. You can either enhance it hoping to enhance, or you can enhance it for durability. If you select the durability option, your percentage is reduced, and you're hoping basically to intentionally fail, that way you build this fail stack number. These enhancements do not use the free materials that the game gives you, they use Blackstone's either armor or weapon, depending on what type of gear you're going to try this with. Blackstone's armor and weapon are also going to drop from your adventure while you're out grinding, and they can be bought off of the central market as well. So you can buy them. Right now there's no Blackstone's armor in store though. There are a good amount of weapons, at least on the NA server. But this method follows basically the same thing we've been doing, right? We're going to select the durability option and instead of using the beginner Blackstone's, we're gonna use these regular Blackstone's of armor and hope for the fail. But unfortunately I succeeded there. So we'll try and stack it a couple times. And eventually after being upset with yourself for a while, you're gonna reach the point where your durability reaches a minimum, at which point you'll have to buy more off of the central market, which in this case, I will need to buy Rokaba armors. Then you'll have to take that over to a um, blacksmith or stable keeper and interact with that NPC, hit the repair option, recover max durability, select the Rokaba armor or whatever piece you're using, select the five in your inventory and recover them by hitting the continuous button. Now this can also be done with the blacksmith trying to under foe by purchasing from their shop the Reblith armor. This Reblith armor can be upgraded in the exact same way and instead of needing to buy stuff off the central marketplace, um, you can buy it from him instead and not having to go between different NPCs when you have to ultimately repair. I don't know that this has that reduced chance upgrade percentage option in the checkbox because like I have a plus 10 piece right here and it does not have the reduced chance percentage there. So just something to keep in mind if you wanna have a little bit more convenience, but uh, that's your other options for building fail stacks there. So for me personally at this point, I like to do a little bit of rouletting between the pieces as well as when I get close, just using the refined magical black stones to get everything up to try. So I'm just gonna jump through that now. And now at some point during this upgrade system, you might actually reach minimum durability on one of your pieces of gear, which means you can't upgrade it anymore. If that happens, you can take one of these pieces of Naru gear that we've upgraded to the max stage, turn it into a piece of Tuvala gear, and throw away the other piece of Tuvala gear that sucks. Unfortunately for me, it's the Kunai, which I haven't even started upgrading yet. So if that's the case, or you don't want to do that, repairs are made using Tuvala ore. So you need to head over to any blacksmith, Talk to that blacksmith, click on the repair option, click on recover max durability, 
Select the piece that you need to repair, and you will select Tuvula Ore. Every single time you use a Tuvula Ore, it gives you back 10 durability. So to recover a full set of durability on a piece, it's going to take you 10 Tuvula Ore. All right, so now we have everything up to the try stage of gear right here. So everything up to the try stage. And now what you want to do is find the NPC Fugar. So go ahead and talk to the NPC Fugar, and they have a series of quests. Under the quest tab, you're going to want to take the quest even harder Tuvula Helmet 1, Tuvula Armor 1, and basically just pick all the ones that have the 1 next to it, the Roman numeral 1. Just run it down the line. Then go into your inventory and put all of those try pieces of gear on, which is going to instantly complete all of those quests, and then we'll take all those pieces off again because we're going to uh, continue our upgrading spree here. Once you've done that, talk to Fugar, and it will auto-complete all of those quests that's going to give you Advice of Valks plus 40s. So you're going to get um, a bunch of these. In our inventory under the Pearl tab, we now have seven Advice of Valks plus 40s, which we're going to use for these next series of upgrades. To get started, press the comma key on the keyboard, click on the Enhancement tab, and select the first piece that we're going to go for for the upgrade, which I guess I want to start with the boots, because those haven't failed yet. So now, before we start doing any clicking or anything like that, head on over into the Pearl tab, and select one of the Advice of Valks plus 40s. It's going to ask you if you'd like to use it. You're going to say yes, and you're going to see that that immediately bumps you up to a 37% chance of success for this piece. Then at this point, it's going to be pretty much the same idea. So we're going to hit the Skip Animation Enhance button and hope for the increase. Unfortunately, didn't get it, so we'll hop back over to our inventory and try a different piece. So this time, let's try the Short Sword. Now it's at a 40% chance. Give it a go. That time it went. We'll head back into the inventory here. Use one of those Advice of Alex plus 40s. Get that plus 40 stack to start. Head over to our inventory and try another piece of try gear. So we'll try this helmet. Failed. We'll swap to the awakening weapon. Failed. We'll try the chest piece. Success. Head back over to the pearl inventory. Use the advice of Alex plus 40. And we will try the next piece of gear, which I guess is going to be the gloves. Give it a go. Fail. We'll try the kunai. And now at this point, we start over again with all of these duo pieces to try and get them back up to try. If you haven't already completed the quest for Nadir's Band, you totally should do that. I have a guide on this as well. It's linked in the description below. What Nadir's Band does is it allows you to swap a fail stack. So we're going to exchange this fail stack by clicking on this empty slot right here. And I'm now back to starting over and I can continue to try and upgrade these gloves back up to try as well as the helmet, boots and awakening weapon. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and use the 20 fail stacks that we got for completing stuff on the season pass. So again, these immediately start me out at 50% on this upgrade. All right, I've got everything back up to the try stage. So now we're going to run it back down the line again with those 40 Advice of Valks Plus stacks there. And see if we can't get any of these to go. Got one. Try the gloves next. Failed, so we'll swap over to the next piece, which will be the Awakening Weapon. Succeed. And now before I forget, I actually have the 50 stack here from the exchange Nadir's band that I used. So to swap that back in, I just have to click exchange chance and tap that back in. So now I'll make sure to use this one for my kunai enhancement attempt, which failed. So we'll try that on the helmet, which also failed. So then we run it back through the cycle of trying to get everything back up to the try stage. But you're basically going to repeat this process over and over again until you've gotten all these things up to the tet stage now, which could take you a little while, as you can see. In the interest of time, I'm just going to continue along with the upgrading path, but again, make sure you have everything up to the tet stage. Once you do have everything up to the tet stage, go ahead and talk to the NPC Fugar again, and on their quest tab, accept the number two quest for each of these. So because I don't have everything to tet, I'm only going to take the one for the shoes, the short sword, the awakening weapon, and the armor for the four pieces that I have up to tap. After you've accepted those quests, put on those pieces of gear. So in my case, once again, these pieces of gear and talk to Fugar. This will complete the quest for additional fail stacks and this time their advice of Alex plus 60s. You can take off those armor pieces as well as weapons that we got up to the tet stage and again, run a similar path. Now, a couple of things before you get started with this. In your challenges menu, if you hit level 61, at least on this server, you have an advice of Alex plus 80 that you can claim in here. So, once again, if you haven't followed my leveling guide, go for it, but it gives you an 80 stack. Also, we still have the Frozen Tides Blackstone, which is a guaranteed upgrade from Tet to Pen for one piece of gear. In my case, I'm going to use it on the Awakening Weapon, and to use it, press the comma key on the keyboard, click on the Enhancement tab, click on whatever you want to have that guaranteed upgrade for, in my case, once again, the Awakening Weapon, and select the Frozen Tide Stone to get the singular upgrade one piece of gear guaranteed to the Pen stage. So now I have the pen weapon completed, 
and I can move on to the next piece of tech gear, which in this case is going to be the chest piece. I'm going to use the exchange chance to take off the stack that I've been working on here, even though it's already at 60, so it doesn't matter, just for purposes of showing you. Use the exchange chance to take off the stack that you've been working on. Go back into your pearl inventory and pop the plus 60 stack on the next piece of gear you're trying to upgrade, and you now have a 36% chance here. Do know that at any time you can use items called Valk's Cries, and these Valk's Cries increase that stack by one. You can use 10 of them on any given upgrade. You should have gotten some of these as well from your adventures. Additionally, still in your challenges menu, you might have fail stacks that are sitting in here from having played the game before. So like right there, I have a plus 40 that's waiting there. You also may have a ton of these sitting in your login rewards. So you can see that I probably have some sitting around. There's a plus 60 right there. Um, so be on the lookout for any fail stacks you might have sitting around that would make your life a lot easier for these upgrades. But as far as going for this pen upgrade, select your piece, use your 60 stack, and hope. Fail. Lady Luck is kind. Got the shoes. Then back on into the pearl inventory. I'm going to use the plus 80 right now and use it on the short sword and get lucky on that one as well. So three pieces up to pen. And basically you just continuously repeat this cycle over and over and over and over again until you run out of upgrade materials or your gear is all at the pen stage. All right, so that is gear itself out of the way, but what about accessories? I'm in the boat that Tuval accessories aren't worth upgrading. The reason that I say that is because as a new player for hitting level 61, the game is gonna give you a set of Kaposha accessories. These Kaposha accessories that I'm hovering over in my bank storage right now have the same stats as a pen Tuvula piece of gear. So for example, you can see pen Tuvula ring compared to a Kaposha ring. You're gonna get these for free for hitting level 61. The only downside is that you can't use it until the season server is over. But if you're patient and can wait and don't wanna deal with the RNG upgrades, you're gonna get a full set of these. You only get this one time per account though, so if you have multiple characters and you plan on playing multiple characters and keeping them all over the map, um, maybe you'd want to consider upgrading to these Tuvala accessories. Do know that accessories can be freely swapped between characters, you just put the accessory into your bank storage like you see me right here, and then take it out on a different character, so you only ever actually absolutely need one set of accessories, unless again you want to have like one character that you play out here in Valencia, and one character hanging out over here and swap between them. But if you typically only grind one area at a time, then you really only need one exact. But if you want to reach the maximum possible gear score for a season character, or if you think I'm stupid and you don't want to listen to me, or if I'm not good at convincing you, or if you're just a masochist and just love the upgrading system in this game, um, you'll need to head over to any blacksmith in the game with Tuvula ore in your inventory. This is going to be similar to the Naru accessories that we showed earlier. Head over to them, click on the exchange tab, and scroll down the list until you see the various Tuvula accessories. So for this example, I guess I will do a Tuvala necklace because this provides the biggest bonus. So we'll buy like four, sure. Then go ahead and press the comma key on the keyboard to bring up the black spirit. Click on the enhancement tab, click on the necklace, and you will see that it's gonna be a similar system. So the first upgrade's about 70% chance. The second upgrade sits at about a 58% chance, and then it continues to go down from there. So if you ultimately take this all the way up to the pen stage, it will have 25 additional AP, which is a nice bonus. As it stands, the duo is better than the tri Naru necklace, so I'm just gonna throw that on and call it a day. Very similar setup though, you continue to smash those accessories together. Eventually you'll want to use fail stacks as well, so you'll have to use some gear to fail stack with. Either more of these fail stacks, or do fail stacking using like an extra piece of Tuvala gear maybe, after you've gotten these all the way up to pan. You've got a few different options. But really, if I was a new player, I would focus like almost exclusively on getting this Tuvala gear. Because if I haven't convinced you enough already, if you continue to play through the main storyline, it's gonna give you a red sand crystal ring, four Psy earring, rock heart belt, and tears of the wind necklace, all of which are equivalent to about try Tuvala accessories. And this would be your gear score right here if you used only those accessories plus the armor set that you could get the Tuvala armor all the way up to pen as well as weapons which is only a couple of AP below what you would get if you went through the struggle of upgrading all of those. Which again, you will swap out immediately after the season is over with those free Kaposha accessories. So yeah, again, it's up to you if you want to deal with it. I personally hate it and think it's dumb, but that is how you go about upgrading them. Now, as far as the question, what fail stack should I use to do this upgrade to this stage? It's entirely up to you. What do you feel comfortable with for an RNG percentage? Do you want 40%, 30%, is 25 good enough for you? That's an answer you have to give yourself. Everybody's gonna speak from authority in any Reddit post or comment section that you get to, but the only person that can make the decision, watching the video right now. So I'm not gonna tell you which ones are the best. I gave you my suggestions as to what I like to use. 
Again, your call. But that is it as far as upgrading the Tuvala gear. Now, if you for some reason have been watching the entire video, which is like 30 minutes right now in editing, you'll remember that I mentioned one more thing about why you'd want to make a second set of Naru gear. The second set of Naru gear that we made during this upgrading and enhancing spree can be exchanged for a gear set called Narshalin gear. And this is buried in a patch notes video and I need to make it a separate video, but I'll link that down below. Essentially though, you can take that second set of Naru gear and turn it into this Narshalin gear, which you can see has pretty impressive stats compared to like the Duo Tuvula. And even compared to a Pen Tuvula set, it's not that much further below it. So this is a second set of gear that can be used by a secondary character, that's at a pretty good spot stat-wise, and is definitely something you should take advantage of. You also can get weapons from this, and these weapons can be boxed up and transferred between your characters now, so you aren't really locked into only one character being able to use it. Neat little item and system there. But as far as this video goes, guys, that's pretty much it. I know we're up over 30 minutes, it's an insanely long video, but uh, there's a lot of information to pack in, and I wanted to make sure that there were no questions, no confusion, or anything about this. It does have chapters and timestamps down below, so hopefully that helps you to navigate to the relevant parts for what you're trying to do. If this video did help you, please again consider subscribing. I have a ton of guides on Black Desert, ton of guides on MMORPGs in general. Helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content as it comes out. Would greatly appreciate it. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll catch you at the next live stream over on Twitch every single Saturday and Sunday. The next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Nice.